In this video, we're going to have a look at how to go from the standard variation selection options, which is in the drop down where you would select from the options available and then add to cart, to go from that option to a table based view. And to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to head over here to my plugins. I'm going to activate the Woo variations table. We'll head back to the website, refresh, and then you'll see that we now have a table that appears on the page instead of the drop down and it's very easy now for me to see uh, what's available so immediately i can see that we have uh, that color in th that size and i can simply add to cart which is then ajax based and you'll see that it updates the uh, price um, option here on the website and then which is the cart total and then if i go and have a look at the cart you'll see that that particular item has been added to the cart as well so very quick, very easy, and a far nicer way to present the product to your customer because it's much easier than just to select what you want. Let's have a look at that in the mobile view. So I'm going to inspect, scroll down, and here you can see that very nicely laid out color size price, color size price. And if the mobile view is a little bit long and you'd like to have a filter, over here we do have a filter available so if I just select the red immediately I can see what's available in the red and if I know what my size is let's say I'm a medium and I select medium then just the medium options will display so a really nice solution for any shopping site much better than the standard drop down and also much nicer on mobile and then with these filter options, it's really nice because you can either search by, in this case, your shirt size, by color, and you can even do a search by a keyword. And you'll see that the uh, search results are updated as you type into the search field. So very quick and very responsive. So a brilliant solution. Let's have a look at the... Um, plugin. So I'm just going to quickly take you through here to look at Woo Variations Table. That's the name of the plugin. It's a free plugin. And if we have a look at the plugin, the Woo Variations Table, this is the kind of look and feel that you're looking for in the um, plugins. And you'll see that this one hasn't been tested with the latest version and it was updated 11 months ago. So I'm not sure what that means going forward, but it does work really well. If we have a look at the options available, I'm going to head over here. Um, oh, that's the plugin page. Let's just have a look here at the options available. So if you go to your WooCommerce dropdown, you'll see that you have this Woo Variations table available to you. And you'll see that we have a host of elements that we can display in our listing. So I can add a thumbnail, SKU, description, dimensions, weight, attributes. I can even add a stock listing. I can also, you know, move that up or down. So I can change where I'd like that to maybe be to fit, but I find that the elements here are generally in the right place. So let's just have a look here. Weight, dimensions, I don't really want. And so I'm going to go thumbnail. If you do want to add the description and you do add the dimensions, the weight, the SKU, that's going to be a much bigger table. And that obviously won't fit where we have it at the moment here because we don't have enough space. So what we can do then is head over here to this uh, drop down where we can specify the position. And instead of after product description, I'm going to say to after the product summary, but before the description. We'll save those changes, head over to the website, and now you'll see that the table is displayed below the product, but um, with a lot more space. In this case, the description is really long, so I would definitely look at changing that. Alternatively, if you don't need dimensions, I don't need weight, uh, I'll keep the stock, I'll keep the attributes, price, quantity, maybe I don't need the SKU, let's save those changes refresh and you'll see that the columns are now adjusted accordingly so we're just going to refresh that right so now it's starting to make a little bit more sense uh, don't really need the description for a t-shirt so let's remove that yeah and then you have a nice table view which is much bigger a lot more space that won't fit into that little bit of space but it certainly fits here and the other nice thing is that on mobile view, which is where most of the customers are from, 
you'll see that that still fits in very nicely under the short description. So it doesn't really make a difference if you're in the mobile view. Let's just have a look at the other settings that were there. Then we have the show filters box. So whether you want to show the filters or not, box or not, um, the available options button. And we didn't have a look at that initially, but basically how that works is if I'm on the page, you'll see now that under the V-neck t-shirt, it says available options. And because I've moved them further down, they're not immediately visible here. So when I click on that, the page actually scrolls up and takes me to the options. Similarly on mobile, uh, if we want mobile, we load it up, we get here, let's have a look at the available options, scrolls up to the available options. So very well thought out. And the last one here was add to cart loader icon, show animated loader icon when clicked to add to cart. And that's just a nice indicator that it's been added. So there you see it, the little spinner. And that's the add to cart. So yeah, um, a very nice plugin. So it's called Woo Variations Table. It's from Ala Rihan. Already been um, several thousand installs of this plugin. And it's one of the best that I saw when it came to having a table-based layout for your shop variations. So definitely highly recommend. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.